Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about what is probably the most overlooked and unspoken about business opportunity. My name is Seb and you are watching Kabugs. So, kahit hindi naman business opportunity, but just a very big thing that happened for the Philippines. Discla disclaimer lang, counting disclaimer before we start. I'm not a businessman and uh, I'm not an expert, but I do aspire to be a businessman one day. Currently, I'm not yet a businessman, so take everything with a grain of salt. I'm just a 21 year old, you know, hoping to share anything he could share. Uh, any good thing he could share into this world. So here are the things that you are going to learn in this video. Number one, what happened last year, late last year, towards the end of the year 2022? Number two, how is that a business opportunity? And number three, how you can be a part of it too. So number one, what happened late last year october 2022 the government passed a new bill this bill was called the epr law by epr it means that extended producers responsibility act of 2022 basically mandates large enterprises those who have an annual revenue of 100 million plus pesos to buy back or offset the plastic they produce just to start things off this year they started out with 20 percent 20 percent of the plastic they produce that's what happened last year october 2022 and it changed a lot of things not only for the benefit of those large enterprises but it's a very very big thing you know for the small guys even yung mga mga ngalakal sa community nyo okay so Alam nyo naman na napakatagal na. Ever since we were little, meron na tayong nakikita every single day ng mga ngalakal. Yung, sila yung mga tao na umiikot sa mga communities nyo, you know, to get some scraps. They knock on each door. And every door they could knock. Just to get some scrap, you know, some recyclables like pet bottles, uh, cardboard boxes, papers, lahat ng mga yun. Bakit ko sinasabi to? Kasi now, this law just empowered those guys. Kind of like they incentivized the work they do. I'm gonna tell you how that is possible with this law. And uh, by the end of this video, how you can be a part of it too. So, yes. Let's go back to the table for a minute. Yeah. So now, and dito na tayo sa number two. How this is a business opportunity. Isa sa mga purpose ng law na to is to create a circular economy. By circular, means that parang bumabalik yung ano. Pag tinignan mo yung circle, bumabalik dun sa kung saan siya nagsimula. I think it's pretty self-explanatory kasi the name of the law is EPR, Extended Producers Responsibility. So, they gave these producers, these large enterprises who produce plastic each year, a responsibility, you know, to number one, buy back, or number two, offset the plastic they produce. Kaya siya naging circular economy. They produce the plastic. Once the product is consumed, what are you gonna do with that plastic? Like, for example, I have here this 3-in-1 sachet. After I consumed whatever is inside it, now I'm left with this. So now, kaya ako kinuwento kanina yung mga mga ngalakal na umiikot sa communities. They collect the plastic and I don't know if you know about these guys but meron ng mga existing plastic diverters or plastic processing plants you know who process plastic not only recycle or reuse those plastics but they upcycle those plastics so nagkakaroon ng iba pang use yung dapat itatapon mo na lang 
<laughs> Here's the problem. When we are throwing our trash, kasama na yung plastic dun, kinokollect yan ng mga garbage trucks, right? And those garbage trucks, they carry your garbage papunta sa dump site or whatever it's called. Nag-iipon-ipon dun yung basura natin. And as you can imagine, the amount of people in this country or in your community alone, the amount of people there, kulang na kulang yung mga dump sites natin. I mean, we don't have enough space sa mga communities natin alone. So, isipin mo na lang, ano, paano mo bibigyan ng bahay lahat ng basura na galing sa ibang bahay? So, basta yon. So, what happens is that yung mga basura na yon, because it's overfilled, yung mga dump sites, ang nangyayari is napupunta pa rin sila sa ocean, sa ocean natin. Marami actually ginagawa yun, intentionally, hindi lang natin nakikita. Ganun yung problem. And now, with this law empowering these people, even the non-government organizations, not non-profit organizations, yung mga ginagawa nila, they have been empowered now by the Philippine government. So, here's what happens. Pinoproduce yung plastic, and then after the product is consumed, mapupunta siya sa mga collectors. These collectors can be independent or parte din ng plastic diverters, which are the processing plants. They use that plastic, they process it, and then they turn it into a product of some sort na magagamit pa for another thing. Like, they can create trash bins, they can create chairs, right? They can even create lumber. Imagine, yung bagay na dati sa kahoy lang natin ginagawa, now, they can create it with plastic. And it's even more durable, right? Kasi hindi naanay, it doesn't rot, and then it floats. <laughs> so imagine, you know, using that plastic lumber for bridges, for house for building right or for whatever construction for that and uh, to mention some i mean two dito sa amin malapit the plastic flamingo and uh, meron din si precious plastic philippines so they are examples of plastic processing plants that you know they create something that could be used for another purpose yeah Number three, how can you be a part of this? Kung babalikan natin ang sinabi ko, there are the producers, collectors, and there are diverters or yung mga processors. How can you be a part of this? You're not a producer, you're not a plastic processing plant, but you can collect. After, let's say, after drinking your coffee, yung three-in-one coffee na binili mo, why not start separating them. Better yet, linisan mo na rin. Tapos, every once in a while, kapag may nakikita kang nangangalakal, give those plastics na nakolect mo to them. They will bring that to a nearby junk shop or sa plastic processing plant and create another purpose for those plastics. You can be a part of this. You can inspire change. I believe the thought, sinasabi na, in order to change the world, you have to change your mind. Your mind. Right? And today I'm encouraging you, every one of you who are watching this, na instead of putting them in the same trash bin, you separate it. You separate it and then pwede mo nang ibigay at makakatulong ka pa sa livelihood ng mga ngalakal na yun. If merong malapit na plastic processing plant sa inyo, pwede nyo nang i-donate right away. So, yeah. This is all for the dream of, I know, every one of us of a better future. So, in the beginning, I said na this is a very big thing that happened and it's not for the large enterprises. It's for the little guys. Today, I'm inviting you to join 
in your own little way in our own little way and i really hope that you become a part of this so yeah again my name is seb and you just watched kabugs <laughs>